Hello students, in this video we are going to study the last part of the theory of reflection under chapter 10, light. Now let us see what is mirror formula. Mirror formula. Mirror formula is the formula which gives the relationship between object distance, image distance and focal length of a spherical mirror. We know that object distance is represented by U and you know what it is. It is a distance between object and pole of the mirror. Image distance V is the distance between image and pole of the mirror. Focal length of a spherical mirror is the distance between principal focus and its pole. So if you know what is U, V and F, there is a formula which gives a relationship between U, V and F for spherical mirrors and it is called as mirror formula. So mirror formula is a formula which gives the relationship between U, V and F of a spherical mirror. It is as follows. You can see this 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V plus 1 upon U. This is called as mirror formula and it is, it is valid for both type of spherical mirrors. It is valid for all different positions of object distance and all kinds of images which are formed. Students learn this formula as it is very important for doing the numericals. So remember this is a mirror formula. Next, magnification. Magnification is again a physical quantity which can be measured and it is represented by small letter M. So magnification M produced by a spherical mirror it gives the relative strength to which the image and of, of an object is magnified with respect to the object size. See students, it may be magnified or diminished. It depends upon the value of M. What is magnification? We can say magnification gives us an idea of relative strength of image as compared to that size of object. Magnification produced by a spherical mirror gives the relative strength to which the image of an object is magnified with respect to the object size. It, it means magnification, is also defined as ratio of height of image to the height of object. We can say this definition of magnification is its somewhat quant, uh, qualitative definition and this is quantitative definition which exact gives the formula for magnification. Okay. So magnification is also defined as ratio of height of image to the height of object and we know that height of image is represented by h dash and height of object by simple small h. So we can write the magnification formula like this. Small m is equal to h dash upon h. This is a basic definition of magnification. Now in case of spherical mirrors, we can also write that this m is equal to minus v upon u. So magnification formula for spherical mirrors becomes minus v upon u. So combining both we can write m is equal to h dash upon h it is equal to minus v upon u. So hope students you have learned these two formulae which are very important. 1 upon f is 1 upon v plus 1 upon u and small m is equal to h dash upon h is equal to minus v upon u. Both these formulae are valid for mirrors, for both type of mirrors, for all types of images whether it is real or virtual and wherever the object is placed. But remember one thing that when we use these formulae for numericals, we have to use a, a set of sign convention called as new Cartesian sign convention and after using that sign convention only we can put the values here and proceed doing the numericals. So let us see now what is new Cartesian sign convention. Now let us study this new Cartesian sign convention which is nothing but a set of conventions for measuring the distances for giving signs to the various distances in case of spherical mirrors. Now this diagram I have drawn for concave mirror and this diagram is drawn for convex mirror. We know that in both the in the spherical mirrors 
geometrical center of the reflecting surface of the mirror is called as pole. So here we have this is the pole and there also P is representing the pole. And this line which is passing through pole and center of curvature, I have not shown center of curvature here but, but you all know that this line is the principal axis of the spherical mirror and this is in case of convex mirror. Now first of all you should remember that in this case Pole is taken as origin according to the sign convention. Pole is taken as origin. Okay. Pole is taken as origin of this sign convention. And object is always placed on the left hand side of the mirror. It means always whenever we draw the diagram in our books, polishing should be shown on the right hand side so that the reflecting surface is on the left hand side. Here. Sorry, sorry, this is, see here the reflecting surface is curved outward, so it is a convex mirror and there the reflecting surface is curved inward, so it is a concave mirror, okay. First it was written the other way round. So according to this sign convention, pole is taken as origin, principal axis is taken as x-axis, principal x-axis is taken as x-axis, pole is taken as origin. And just like in maths when we study the Cartesian sign convention, it is just similar to that. It means all the distances which are measured parallel to the principal axis are measured from pole because it is taken as origin. Okay. Direction of incident light is always from left towards right. Obviously, when we place, when the polished surface lies on the right side, right hand side, so reflecting surface is lying on the left hand side. So in order to get the image where the object should be placed on left hand side. When the object is placed on left hand side. So rays will be traveling from left towards right. So direction of incident light will always be this. From left towards right. Okay. So these are the basic things. First of all you should know. Pole is taken as origin. Principal axis is taken as x axis. And object lies always on the left hand side of the mirror. It means direction of incident light is from left towards right. Now, all the distances which are measured parallel to the principal axis, we know they are measured from pole. But remember, the distances measured from the pole towards the left hand side, they are taken as negative. Distances measured parallel to the principal axis and measured towards right hand side of pole are taken as positive. It is same in both the cases. Distances which are parallel to principal axis are measured from the pole and those which are measured towards right hand side are taken as negative and distances which are measured towards le left hand side are taken as negative and the distances which, which are measured towards right hand side of pole are taken as positive. Lastly, when we talk about the distances which are perpendicular to the principal axis, in other words, when we talk about the heights of object and image, distances measured perpendicular to the principal axis and above it, above the principal axis, the perpendicular distances, it means heights are taken as positive. And distances measured perpendicular to the principal axis and below the principal axis are taken as negative. So again it is same in both the cases. Okay. So what if maybe the mirror, spherical mirror, maybe it may be convex or concave. You have to follow this new Cartesian sign convention. Now if we see this, just object is always from the left hand side. So object distance which we represent by u is always negative because of u is the distance between object and pole. So object is lying on the left hand side. u will always be negative. Okay. And in our case we are going to always place the object above the principal axis like this. So height of object will always be positive. Remember in both the cases height of object will be positive and u will be negative negative. So let us study about this more now. First let us first write all the points. Let us study all the points together first. So we can write all the points under new Cartesian sign convention for spherical mirrors as below. First point we can divide it into three parts. 
pole is taken as origin, principal axis as x-axis and object is always placed on left hand side of mirror. Second, distances measured parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole. The distances measured towards left hand side of pole are taken as negative and those measured towards right hand side of pole are taken as positive. Heights above the principal axis are taken as positive and heights below the principal axis are taken as negative. Or in other words, distances perpendicular to the principal axis and above it are taken as positive and distances which are perpendicular to the principal axis and are below it are taken as negative. I hope you have understood this new Cartesian sign convention well. So if you remember this, if you have understood the sign convention, we can say that for concave mirrors, U is always negative because object is always placed on the left hand side and even for convex mirror U is negative. It is negative in both the cases. In fact, for all the mirrors it is negative. Now because the focus of a concave mirror lies in front of it. So focus is lying in front of it. It means towards the left hand side of pole. So focal length is negative for concave mirror and for convex mirror since the focus lies on the right hand side focal length is positive. Height of image as we are placing always, always the object above the principal axis. Height of the object denoted by H is taken as positive for both the mirrors. B now for concave mirror, we know that virtual as well as real images can be formed. When the real image is formed, it is formed in front of concave mirror. It means towards the left hand side of pole. So in that case, image distance V is negative. For virtual images which are formed behind the mirror, V is taken as positive. And for real image, it is always real and inverted. Inverted means below the principal axis. So H dash is negative. V is negative for real image, for virtual image since the images are virtual and erect, V is positive and H dash is also positive because it is erect above the principal axis. And in case of convex mirrors, we always get virtual and erect images. So in case of convex mirror, V is always positive and also we know that since we get erect images, H dash will also be positive for convex mirrors.